Good morning. Good afternoon or good evening. And how are you? Today. Good. Oh, good morning. Good afternoon or good evening. Here's the daily crumb. The healthy way alone. Your way. I finished up it. This was a journal. My first entry in here was like 96. Look at that. Look at that. First entry, July 10th, 1996. Wow. Back here, my, my, my resolutions, goals for 1997. Isn't that cool? And then I just filled it up with the 2024 now. So well, that's cool. I can see the growth in just one journal. And this one I just picked up and just started. Just started this one yesterday. Getting into the habits. Good habits. I write every day. And I still got that one that sits up when I toilet. My last P. I I write. And I've been looking at that. I've been doing that for two years now. Every single night. And I write down the time it is that I'm going to bed and stuff. So I kind of keep track of that. I don't really look, look at that, though. It, uh, yeah, you know, just just a couple little words. It's just little little sections, right? So it's like an old day planner or something like that. So but just, they're just you know, just a little section about that. So every night before I go to bed, it's a couple highlight things that I want to remember the day or blah 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 whatever. It's right. I know it's good for you. So good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time day this is for you. Welcome to the Theater Crumb. Me, we should be very much happy. Quay, a fairly freaky ass, a sweet grass water medicine woman, also Christiana Clark, Chris Clark, superstar. Oh, this beautiful divine being right here. And welcome, all you beautiful divine beings, right here, too. How girls are with you? Hey, 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 it's a Tuesday. Yeah, I'm coming at you a little late because uh, my PSW was here. I dry my hair. It's getting a little chilly out there, but it's all right. It's a warmer today. Uh, what day is it for you? Tell Tuesdays? Try Tuesdays? Oh, let me tell you. Oh, had a beautiful session with Cindy Eddington. Oh, what a beautiful soul, beautiful being. Offered me a session and and that was just beautiful. I was grateful, I'm glad, thankful to myself. Because she said, book a half an hour, book an hour. So I went and booked an hour. <laughs> Normally I would just take the little bits, right? Because crumbs, I'm used to having the crumbs, making the best and the most out of the crumbs and being so grateful for every little tiny little crumb I get. So, but that was, uh, it was beautiful. There's some people that have given me the feast, and I'm beautiful. I'm so grateful for that, too. But that's where this whole crumbs concept, the daily crumb and whatever, just that little tidbit that you can make and turn into. Oh, no. Sometimes it's like that, that little mustard seed. It's one of the tiniest of all seeds. But look at the great big thing that comes out of that. I don't know. What's all said to you, beautiful beings? But that's that's what I talk about when I say crumbs. Cause that's what I felt like in those relationships too. I I had to be happy for the crumbs that I got, you know. But we both, we all here deserve more than crumbs, okay? So we gotta give that to ourselves and be open up to that. Because you know what? If that's we feel, that's all we're worth. That's all we're gonna let in, isn't it? And that, and that, and that. Well, no, how's that grow for you? Okay, two, fine. Two reflections was in my hand. Two reflections just went flying to the floor. Reflection on that, so we need to reflect on something here. All right. Okay. Oh, there's three. There's three down there. Okay, okay, okay. We're going to do the perfect man of all, both after himself before looking to help others. Chang Zhu. Take some time to be outside this evening. Breathe in the fresh air and breathe out the stresses of the day. Watch the sunset or reflect on the vastness of the universe as you stargaze. Enjoy Mother Nature and all she has to offer. That's a 51. That's a 6. These are all in the 50s. All righties. 
perfect man of old looked after himself before looking to help others. We need to put on that oxygen mask first, right? We need to know that we're loved, that we're lovable, and that we're loving, right? And then we can share that out with others. Yeah, I just had a pajama day today, okay? It's cold. I ain't going nowhere. Stayed inside. Gonna get a cup of comfort later, I think. Maybe there's a Mrs. Potts on tonight. A five with the Marie Bailey. That's my middle name. I'm Christiana Marie. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, poof. Here we go. Hello. You coming to say hi? Meow. 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 Come and say, oh, no, no, don't knock stuff over. No, get down over there. You knock everything over. You'll say hello. Hello. Meow. Meow. Get down. There you go. We'll go up there. There you go. Okay. Here we grow. Okay. We're taking some time to reflect on that vastness of the universe. Breathe in and breathe out the stresses of the day. That's what we can do, right? Enjoy Mother Nature. And look at, look at, look at all that. Maybe that can make our problems seem so tiny. That's small. When we look out, we look at the vastness of the universe and the stars. We look at mountains and all of that. Woo-wee! We're just a little mustard seed in it all. But everybody's important and essential here. Oh, yes, I'm so glad you're here. Your past does not define who you are today. Gabriella Marigold Lindsay. Close your eyes and take 10 deep breaths. <sighs> With each inhale, breathe in calm and peace. With each breath, let go of what came before. <sighs> you are here now, and that is enough. You are here now, and that is enough. And thank you for being here now with me right we're not trying to get there we're just being here because that's where we have that power is here and now in this moment not in the past not in the future right now in this moment all right that's a 59 which would come to a five we're changing changing maybe we need to change the way we're seeing maybe we need to change what we're looking at i don't know what is that for you right maybe we just keep looking this way all we see is the darkness we take the blinders off and we go whoa Whoa, right? And then we look around and recognize the beauty in ordinary things. Oh, no, what does all that say to you? Beautiful base. We put on that oxygen mask first. We appreciate that being. We see that there is so much more to this world and that we're all connected to it. We are an intricate part of that. Yeah, yes, you are. Okay, and we see that. We put on our oxygen mask before we go helping others, right? A man cannot be comfortable without his own approval. Right, and if we don't approve of ourselves, we're going to be constantly looking outside there for somebody else to approve of us. I mean, I've, I've went through that myself where I felt I was at the peak of my confidence uh, when I moved to BC pursuing my acting career, made crazy calls, super strong. But that was taken away because it was something I didn't mean. I, it wasn't coming from the inside of me. It was coming from outside, and all the people tell me how cool and you know, blah, blah, whatever, all that kind of stuff. So it wasn't something I could maintain because it wasn't coming from the inside. So when the outside reflections and stuff start saying, "Oh my gosh, your positivity makes me sick," and da 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 da, right? Oh. That's when I'm like, okay, well maybe I'm not this, maybe I'm not that. So that's why we need that. Love ourselves, know yourself, okay? So we're not going to be fooled by anybody else all right and we'll know that that's uh by mark twain a man cannot be comfortable without his own approval take some time before bed to appreciate yourself for who you are you are on a unique path and you're doing the work are you doing the work that's a 54 that's a nine are you doing that work coming up to those completions like you're on your own unique path again we all have our own personal journeys but we're all part of the human journey you're part of the story of humanity and it's incomplete without you beautiful beautiful beings okay let's quickly get a path and totem going along with that so we're looking at that and how we can improve of ourselves how we can love ourselves how we can give those littles what they needed right it's our turn now we're the adults and are we standing up for our littles inside do they have somebody standing up for them Oh, I don't know. Are we hard on them when they cry? 
Shut up or I'll give you something to cry for. I mean, I heard that. I heard that a lot myself. Right? What's wrong with you? <laughs> right? I don't know. Right? Be thankful for what you got. So many people got to work. So, you know, here you are. Be thankful. I don't know. What is that for you? Having that gratitude. So there we go. The passion and spontaneity. What what lights your fire, right? Spontaneity is different than impulsivity because spontaneity takes a little bit of planning, a little bit of, uh, what's that called? A little thought, a little reflection. Maybe it's something that you've always wanted to do, right? And you know that I'm going to do this when I get that chance or whatever. So it may look like it's impulsive, but maybe it's something you've been waiting on and that divine timing comes up and you take that action. Oh, no. What is that for you? Right, we let go. We let go of all those secrets of love that break up with those secrets. They can, they, they only hurt. Passion and spontaneity. What lights your fire? Pain and passion can lead to your purpose. Oh, oh, what will I say all to you, beautiful beings? Right, but to, to tap in. Right, if we keep ourselves a secret from ourselves, what are you hiding from ourselves? What parts of us are we hiding from ourselves? Because somebody else said that wasn't acceptable. I don't know. What is that for you? Right. And the smoke of signals. What is your intention? Your intention is to get out there to share your message. Yet you don't do anything for that. Right. Your intention is to, you know, your destination is on the right and you turn left. I don't know. What is that? Is, is your intention lining up with your actions? Right. Or we get that earth connection. We get that grounding. We see that, that we're all connected. But, you know, it begins within. Find that within the side, within the side yourself, within the side yourself. Okay, beautiful beings, I'm trying to keep it, you know, cool and not get too rushed up here because I am Canadian. We're at 11.47, here we grow. We're getting a little over, that's fine, but that's the truth is protection. That spirit is always on your side. And spirit's always got your back because what? That's how we get that. Turn around, open up, and let it pour through you, okay? You belong here. How do you know? You're breathing, your heart's beating, you belong here. You have a job here. And you know what your job is? Just to be you, holy, holy, and true, right? Nobody else can do that, right? And if you're not you, oh, my goodness, the world's going to miss out. You're the best one for that job, okay? I love that. Um, 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 um. Woo! Deborah Silverman, be yourself. Everybody else is taken. Okay, so there you go. Be yourself. Everybody else is taken. That's the truth as protection. When we know ourselves, we know who we are. We give ourselves that validation, that approval that we need. Uh, Spirit loves us, okay, immeasurably. So if we give ourselves... That permission to be human, that's what we're here for, to learn that human journey, okay? Not get fooled for the others. That's how we get that sustainable energy. We can keep going and we can maintain that. We can maintain being who we really are, right? Poof! That's usable energy. I don't know. What's that all say to you, beautiful beings? Are you taking the time to rest? Are you approving of yourself? Do you meet your own approval? Are you appreciating your being and your life and your lessons till now? Are you dogging on? I had the most horrible life. Blah, 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 blah. Everything was so bad. Was everything so bad? Oh, I don't know. Anyway, here we grow. Beautiful beings. Biggest heart hugs ever. Yes, thank you for being you and shining your light through in everything you do. Because you know what? This world needs you. Just to be you. Holy, holy, and true. Don't let this world miss out. No, that's you. I'm so glad you're here. I'm so glad you choose to stay every day. Let's grow, grow, grow. Slow, slow, slow. Make this another wonderful blessed day. Love you all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you.